How's it going? Welcome back to episode 8 of One Hour a Day, man. Where we can only play the game for about, you know, one hour a day, man. In the last episode, we did some questing. And we almost completely did the Lumbridge Easy and Varrock Easy Diaries, as you can see. And today, I want to finish both of these. So yeah, we need to train some crafting real quick to make sure we can actually complete the diary and we need level 8 crafting to do so. So I just bought some leather here and we're already at 4 crafting. So there you go. Which is a little bit faster and also cheaper because leather is a lot more expensive than the molten glass. So I decided to go with this route and that is 5 crafting. And finally, after a long grind that took about three or four minutes of my time, we are going to get eight crafting. Let's go, boys. First time fly fishing on the account. We are catching some salmon or some trout. There you go. Easy task done though. What do we have to make? Please tell me that's right. Yeah, I think it is. And then the unfire bowl. Put it in the oven. And there you go. Another easy task. So now all we have to do is get some kudos and mine some iron ore. Oh, you know what else I can do? I still... We started Gertrude's cat in like episode 2 or 3. And I still haven't finished it. There you go. <laughs> That's 1500 cooking XP. There you go. We also get a kitten, a chocolate cake and some stew. And that's 13 cooking Well, there are two ways to get kudos here. We can dig up, well, we can clean find, or if we've done some quests that can give us kudos, but I don't think we have. Let's see. Oh yeah, the Grand Re, apparently that's some kudos. Five of them as well, wow. Oh wait, I, I, I did two quests. Okay, so now we're at 38 kudos. And I think the other ones should be done here. We have to do the dig side quest. All right. Another task done. Last one. Bake a bread. You're not going to kill me, buddy. Just let me go. Okay, eight damage is actually... That's something. Okay, I bought two bread doughs just in case I burned the first one. Please bake one of them. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Yeah. See, that's why you buy two. That is why you buy two breads. I've only been playing for 14 minutes here, so maybe I can do some quests real quick. <laughs> Let's put this in agility. Thank you. Level 33, almost 34 agility without even doing, well, we did do one lap, but oh wow, look at this, 20K on the dot. Hello, Cyril. Yeah, guys, we are going to do the Hazil cult quest. This is one of the quests that gives you kudos once you complete it. Um, so yeah, that's five extra kudos and another quest done. We're going to have to do as many quests as we can anyway to get Barrow's Gloves. So we might as well tackle both at the same time. There we go. One quest point, 1500 thieving XP and 2k coins. That's 26 thieving. Ritual. Because we have unlocked the room crafting skill last episode by doing the Enter the Abyss mini quest. But we have not unlocked the Herblore skill yet. 
And to do that, we have to do a Druidic Ritual. So let's go, boys. First, we're going to get some supplies. And then we're going to do this very short and quick quest. And this is the end. We get four quest points, access to the Herblore skill, and 250 Herblore XP. Which puts you at level 3, almost level 4. Now we can make attack potion. Combine them. And look at the experience go up. Level 5 already, boys. Let's go. Level 6. <laughs> There we go, you guys. In a second here, we will have every single thing with 10 Herblore coming in. Every single thing to start the big side quest. Now, the big side quest is actually really good. Because the XP reward is fantastic. But it's a pretty tedious quest. That's why most people don't really like to do it. So I'm going to talk to this girl again. And tomorrow we will finish this quest clean some finds in the Varrock Museum and finish the Varrock Easy Diary. This has been one hour day man episode 8 because well we only play the game for about you know one hour a day. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.